Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Lansdale YMCA. We are now broadcasting to you from inside our facility. We know that all of you cannot get out, and you certainly can't get in here during the quarantine, but we're just trying to help you get your mind out and about, and keep your bodies fresh and strong. Um, we hope everybody is staying safe and uh, you know, try to make the best of this, hopefully having some fun. I hope this will help you have some fun. We are going to do um, an ab workout now. Um, we're going to do an, uh, an actual warm up and stretch first because if things go according to my plan, this ab workout will be really, really hard for you, hopefully really hard for me. Um, and hopefully we challenge ourselves enough that we can keep having fun. Remember, everything I do can be modified and I will do my best to um, make sure I show you modifications. Sometimes I have somebody with me um, and they'll do the modified version, but I'm flying solo right now. So have fun and let's get to it. All right, here we go. Big breath. Another big breath. And one more just because it feels good. We're gonna go up and over and to our left. Well, I guess it'll be your right, because you're being up me, right? Don't worry about it, just have fun. Smile. Act like you've been somewhere. Sometimes I get realistic with my stretching. Do some of the things I uh, learned when I was taking martial arts. We would balance it a little bit. They say it's bad. As long as it feels comfortable, you don't push too hard. You keep those muscles active, they'll stretch a little better. I'm gonna go to the other side. Turn my foot out. And uh, if you understand this, if you can push that up, uh, Push that thigh bone back through the hamstring. You can get into the belly of that muscle. Help it stretch a little better. It is okay to be here. You don't have to go over that far. You can keep your chest rotated out if you have more stretch. I'm not that flexible. We're gonna swing around and come down in front. Hands on the floor if you can. Hands are okay to be here. And we're just gonna hold. We're just gonna hold it right here. And I like this swaying motion. I like to keep my stretches active. And if my stretches are moving, I'll, find I'll hit all those tiny little muscle groups that don't get hit when I stay in one place. I'm gonna come down onto the floor. I just drop my knee. I slowly work my way down. I'm gonna slide my bottom leg back and I'm gonna grab it. This is a really safe way to do a quadricep stretch. You're not standing up, so you don't have to worry about falling and balance. You can also get a much better stretch here. You don't have to worry about falling, so you can really grab that leg and sit into it. If you want, you can do a tricep stretch here too by taking your arm up behind your head, and I just kind of rest it on my shoulder. Now gravity and the weight of my body is helping me stretch down and through. We're going to do that same thing on the other side. We're going to release, hands down. We're going to thread our leg through. We're going to come up slowly. And we're going to go to the other side. Slide your leg through. Now you guys are probably civilized, and you probably had yoga mats of the life. They are really, really good for you. They are really good for you. So if you don't want to lay on a hard floor, grab yourself a yoga or Pilates mat. It's really, really good for you. You'll love it. Okay, moving on, we're going to stretch out these hips a little bit because I guarantee some of this ab work and this core work is going to be hitting those hips and we don't want to make them tighter than they are, okay? So you're going to just cross your leg. I reach through and grab my knee. Some people have way more stretch than that. 
So if you have more stretch, then you can go through, you can grab onto this leg if you can, and you can pull this leg back. I'm not that flexible. But I know we have yogis out there, and former ballet dancers, and gymnasts, and people who are just more flexible than the rest of us. And we applaud you, we love you. For the rest of us, we can just hold here. You will feel this out here in your hip and in your glutes. This is an excellent way to stretch. And you also want to remember, you know, you, when you're stretching your body, you have to think of it. It's not one long muscle group. It's many, many different muscle groups. Sometimes if you want to be able to do a proper core bend, you know, you're going to have to stretch these hips before you stretch the hamstrings, and then you got to have it's all connected. Now we're going to switch. Less flexible on this side. Much less flexible on this side. Oh boy. This right hip is really loving me right now. How are your hips feeling? Good? Alright. I'm feeling it right here. Okay, so more in my more in my glute than in my hip. It's really bad. I can't crank that out like that. I'm gonna show you a variation of that stretch too. It'll really help you guys.
Walk your feet in. Couple of deep breaths. And let's get into that ab routine. Now let's call this an ab workout, but it's really going to be a core workout. So we'll be working our back, we'll be working our, we'll be working our hips, um, everything that helps us stabilize our body. Here we go. We're going to start with leg lifts. I put my hands behind my head. It is okay for you to put them under your bottoms. You're doing good. Have fun with it. Now, we're going to hold them out in front of us, okay? And we're going to go side to side. Have fun with it. We're going to hold on one side. Now you're going to hold on the other side. Lift it up and around. We got to go the other way. Oh yeah, that hurt. I felt that one. Did you feel that one? We're gonna stop in the middle. And we're gonna swim. Yeah now, you feel that. And just hold them out for a minute. Down. We're going to roll to our side. Alright? And we're going to lift. If you want, you can hold your arm up. You're going to love this. Never going to feel this.
and 80. And so when I get something like that, the like take the circle around. When I get a group like that, I have to allow people to work at their own pace. Oh yeah, one more for me. And we're gonna go the other way. You'll never feel this. You're never gonna feel this. You're never gonna even know that you were working out. Now we have to go the other way. Switching legs, we're going out to in. Before we went in to out. Now we're going out to in. And you're never gonna know. You're never gonna even know you were here today. Not even when I look blue. Just do your thing. We you need to switch legs, switch legs. We have to use our intelligent edge. We have to think about our own body. All right, we're gonna lay down. Just pull them in and kick them out. The higher you hold them up in that middle range, that's when you're gonna feel that pull. Oh yeah, huh?
To the other side, other foot slightly in front. Toe flex back. This will be a lot easier. But you feel the difference too between sitting up and laying down on your side. So, if you're wondering how those athletes get some of those muscles and some of the strength that they get, they do different things. I got my leg up a little higher than I started here, now it's here. I'm trying to get more into the abs and not just the hips. When we come down here, now we're in the hip and glute. Lower abs and sides. We're going to get here and we're going to pulse it. Boom. We're going to switch sides. Starting down lower. If you got a couple more, you can stay there. I'm going higher. Up. And then into the hip proper. Now, when you work one side of your body, believe it or not, the other side does get worked. So my hips are already kind of fried, died, and laid to the side here. All right. If you got a couple more, you can. You can do a couple more. So from your core down, you should feel really good and tight right now. So we're going to stretch it out. This is why I took so long, if you're wondering, in the pre-stretch before to really get you stretched out because I knew there's going to be a lot of contraction and we need to stretch it out. Right now, I'm really throbbing in my hips, so that's where we're gonna go first. I'm gonna turn my back on you, but it's not to show you my bottom, it's to show you where I put my, where I put my feet, okay? I'm gonna go back into like a child's pose, but I'm gonna tuck my foot under me and lean into that hip. And then just try to double over that leg as much as possible. You can do a standard child's pose, but your hip is more tired now than it usually would be. So you really want to isolate each hip, give each hip a chance to loosen because you, you work them independently, you got those muscles contracting independently, now you want to give those muscles an independent chance to stretch out. I'm going to come up, do the same thing on the other side, into a basic child's pose and then get on that hip. Get on that hip and just stretch it out. You can push it back in. You know, I'm using my hand, I'm kind of pushing into it. And now I'm gonna post on the side there, I'm gonna show you that variation of the hip stretch. For people who can't get into this, there's a hip stretch where you put your feet up on the wall and do a very similar stretch. For the rest of us, we're gonna go into traditional child's pose here. You put your hands back if this is comfortable for you. Some of you will stay long. Now we're going to go back into like a half cobra. I'm going to put one leg back, I'm going to keep the other one bent, and I'm going to try to grind one hip, one hip into, into the floor. The stretch is really going up into the side here. I can do both at the same time. I'm going to slide my foot back, but I'm not going to be able to get into each hip individually. So what I'm trying to do, I work each side individually, so now I want to stretch each side individually, give each side its chance to get the benefit of a stretch here. Bring 
Very nice. Okay. So, I'm going to come up and rock my hips out. As they work hard. My ribs, I should be starting to feel some stretch in my hips and my ribs. Now, I'm going to go one leg out. Now, if you're comfortable, you can sit down on it. You can grab your foot if you have more flexibility, or you can just grab your calf. All right? Those with more flexibility can stay up tall and double over it. Double over your leg. Really try to relax here. You pull your sitting bones back. Really relax here. You can get into the belly of the calf and stretch through. Your legs worked really, really hard here because you had to point and flex so much to do those exercises. So believe it or not, your hamstrings got tight, okay? And your quadriceps got tight on some of those seated, seated leg lifts. I felt um, my quadriceps start to cramp up a little bit. That's when I backed off of it. I knew I was done. Some days I will have more, I will have more strength and more flexibility there. Some days I can do a lot of reps. Other days I can do fewer reps. There we go with that intelligent edge. You really have to think about your body, listen to it. Don't get, don't be a robot when you're working out. You can't be a, you can't be a machine. You have, you feel different on different days. You need to, you can still do the same exercises, but you have to just do them with care. And on days that you feel a little stronger, as long as you're pacing yourself, you can do, you can do a little more on those days as well. And because we did work those quadriceps, as I said, that would be our final stretch. Again, I like to lay down, okay? I can stretch my tricep and my side at the same time by resting here, and I can get a much deeper stretch that goes through my quadricep up into my hip, up into my, the top um, of my thigh, near my waist, just it's much, it's a much deeper stretch. You can, you can hold, you can release the foot here if you're less flexible, or you can get a good grip and just let things be. And the great thing about laying down when you stretch is, I do this sometimes when I'm watching television, and I'm passing the time. It seems like I'm passively stretching, but the gravity being so low to the ground, I don't have to worry about posture. My body just sinks into the floor. The muscles, the muscles do what they have to do. The muscles just do what they have to do. Just hold that, just enjoy it. You can creep your fingers around. <laughs> Why not? They're there, right? Those spider fingers. It's fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grind my, um, my hip into the floor a little bit. It's gonna help me stretch my quadricep a little bit more. And then I'm gonna back off of it. couple of deep breaths and then release. Now if you feel a little sore you can just lay here and just relax and zone out a little bit. Let your body let your body get back to its true resting state or you can just sit up and just try to feel you know all the changes in your body. Do you feel more flexible? Do you feel stronger? You know did you go back to normal? Did your body respond and take you back to that original place where you started? Which is great because it just means that you recovered well. You recovered well. You, you got a good pump. You um, really got a good contraction and worked the muscles good. But then you did a great job stretching back out and getting back to normal. So you can get up and still move around and do whatever you have to do. Um, I hope that was a good workout. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. I enjoyed sharing with you. I hope everybody stay safe and just, you know, keep your chins up out there. All of this will pass. We will all be back in here before you know it, and life will resume. Have a great day.